Hello everybody and welcome to the Borderlands 3 Twitch extension. As you can see by the wondrous bits upon you, this thing is out a little early. I think it might be a glitch, maybe, maybe not. But it is my duty to go over it as I am a huge Borderlands fan. Anywho, anywho, we see a lovely level 4 gun with this, that, and whatever all about it. Looks like we're working off percentages for the accuracy and handling. Alright. We got a fire SMG, it, certain, it seems. We've also got a purple grenade. It's a pounding longbow. Ooh, grenades teleport to the destination. Uh, bounces and detonates up to three times. That's pretty cool. Heals for 30% of damage dealt to health. Plus 15% grenade damage. Nice. An improved shield, you know it's a shield. But we're going to be going over Zane, as you can see. Now, looking into his inventory, it just shows that biz. The money is right there. Um, get out of the way, cla Claptrap. Cla 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 I'm get anyway, behind Claptrap, there is some... There's Iridium, which seems to be coming out as a black market kind of thing. And there is Keys. Which, you know, it's whatever. Coolio. Now, if we go into the skill tree, we can have a look at Zane and his self. Let's see here. Let's look, let's look here. Alright, barrier. Drops a deployable barrier, or shield, that blocks incoming projectiles. Zane and his allies can shoot through the barrier, dealing increased gun damage. This is nice. Pressing the action skill button on the grenade bu or the grenade button while barrier is active picks it up and holds the barrier, but the size and bonuses are decreased. So you can carry that crap around. That's pretty neat. Adrenaline. Zane gains increased action skill cooldown rate. This bonus is based on the amount of shield he has. The more percent full, the greater the bonus. This would be good for like really small shields and such that run out easy peasy fast and squeezy hardy stock zane de gains increased maximum shield capacity you know it's simple buff but i like it ready for action zane has improved shield recharge rate and recharge del delay i'll be a i'll be a pretty big fan of that one i think but this one's also pretty good so you know whatever this thing is weird, so I'm gonna look at that. Charged Relay. It's an augment for the skill, I'm guessing. Whenever Zane or an ally touches the barrier, they gain increased movement speed and fire rate for a few seconds. Must be equipped to use. I wonder what that means. Is that, um, these things? They got, like, their own slots, I guess, maybe? Probably? It sounds cool. Whenever Zane, or Brain Freeze, whenever Zane scores a critical hit on an enemy, there's a chance they will be slowed. I hear Zane's like an Ice Dominant character for his element. Total uh, choice, but we'll see. Stiff Upper Lip. Whenever Zane is damaged, he gains damage resistance against that damage type. This is cool because I like those survivability shields. I can't remember what they're called right now, but it's whatever. It's cool. Rise to the occasion. This is a passive ability. Zane gains health regeneration the lower his shield is. The the higher the bonus while or um his shield is the higher the bonus. While Zane's shields are full, he does not receive any health though. Unfortunate, I know. Alright, let's see another one of these things. Nanites or some shite. <laughs> that's that's funny. It's an augment. Zane and his allies gain health regeneration, increased reload speed, and greatly improved recharge delay while near his barrier. It's pretty damn neat. The lower the health, the more health is regenerated. Very nice. While Zane er, uh, confident competence. While Zane's shield is active, he gains increased gun damage and accuracy. This bonus is based on the amount of shield he has. The more percent full, the greater the bonus. Then we have All Rounder. Zane gets a bubble. Yeet. He is about to, like, bubble buddy that crud all the way to the Shell City or whatever, SpongeBob. Anyway, it's an augment. Zane's barrier becomes a dome covering all sides. Very nice. 
Redistribution. This is another lovely augment. Zane and his allies near the barrier gain increased grin damage for a few seconds after the barrier takes damage. Which, with this thing, would be freaking crazy. I'm guessing you can do more than one because all this schnaz exist. And whatnot. Anyway, refreshment. It's a passive ability. Whenever Zane is damaged, a frozen enemy with his weapon, he gains some th some of that damage back as health. I like those vampiric perks. Those are nice. Very nice. Anyway. Best serve cold. Another passive ability kill skill. Whenever Zane kills an enemy, they create a cryo nova dealing damage to all nearby enemies. This has a short cooldown. This reminds me of Blood Splosion from Krieg. Very nice. As we can see, Claptrap finally moved out of the way. We got our money, our radium, and uh, this biz. Got all our weapons returning, our dominant weapons. Anywho, where was I? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think I went over this one. Futility built. In passive ability, Zane gains increased resistance to non-elemental damage. This is nice, except for a lot of enemies use elemental damage. So it's like, whatever. But, you know, whatever. It's a fire... Or it's like a... It's a fire extinguisher, so you'd think you'd be like resistance to elements, but I guess that's what that other shield up at the top is for. Anyway. Kill skill. All enemy damage Zane take... Uh, or take... All elemental damage Zane takes is converted into non-elemental damage. So... That seems pointless. Anyway, we got a deterrence field. This is an augment for the barrier. Enemies that touch the barrier sh take shock damage and are staggered. I wonder if this breaks the thing? I'm not sure. But it seems cool. I wouldn't want to rely on it, though. Refreshment, a passive ability. Whenever Zane damages a frozen enemy with his gun, he gains some of that damage back itself. One vampirism again. That's uh, that's, I probably read that earlier and am just stupid, being stupid. Anyway, calm, cool, and collected. Another passive. Whenever Zane freezes an enemy, his shield instantly begins recharging. That's cool, for ice weapons. So, that definitely confirms the comeback of ice weapons with. The new radiation, of course. If Zane's shields are already full, he regenerates health for a few seconds. Nice. If Zane's health is already full, his action skill cooldown and duration are immediately reset. That would be very nice. That would be very good. Freeze an enemy from super far, full shield, full health. Baby! Nerves of Steel. Passive ability, Zane gains increased accuracy in handling. The longer his shield is full, the greater the bonus. I'm not much of a sniper, so I'm, I'd skip that. Alright, time for the bottom, the breaker, the best of the best. Let's see this biz. Zane's barrier gains the effect, or uh, distributed denial. Zane's barrier gains the effect of his currently equipped shield mod. Additionally, the shield's effect are applied to all allies near the barrier. Bonuses to Zane are reduced. That seems really freaking good for if you're playing with a team. Let's see this here. Grenade slot. I think this is for the red thingy. Let's see. This is like a grenade slot, I suppose. Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that later. We'll do this biz. Anyway, so here's... His second skill. I don't know if he can have more than one, but it seems varying. His second skill is the Sentinel. Send into battle an automated Sentinel drone that continuously fires through environment and attacks enemies with his machine guns. Hold on, did I read this? Yeah, I did. Anyway, I was having a brain fart. Pressing the action skill button on the grenade or the grenade button while Sentinel is active causes it to an attack to an a to attack enemies under Zane's crosshair, if any. That's cool. But it seems like it would deny you the usage of grenades. Alright, so violent speed. Killing an enemy or a kill skill. Killing an enemy makes Zane fasty boy. He's super fast. I'd be good for that because I love the run perks. I like how ridiculous they look. It's hilarious. 
Zange a cold boar. This reminds me of boar from Borderlands 2, except it does completely different things because it's not a penetrator or something. Zangeist in... Anyway, excuse me. Zane gains increased weapon speed. The next shot fired after swapping weapons deals bonus cryo damage. I don't really care about that. Violent momentum. Zane's gun damage is increased for a while or while moving. The quicker he moves, the greater the gun damage bonus. These two seems like they would be very good together. Very, very good. Alright, let's see this augment. Or whatever it is. Yeah, it's an augment. Converts the Sentinel's primary weapon into cryo damage, a winter drone. Um, like, big, again, not huge on the cryo, and that's Naz, but, anyway. Cool hand. Zane gains increased reload speed, which also comes with the kill skill. After killing an enemy, Zane's reload speed is increased for a few seconds. Very nice. I don't know if it's the kill skill that requires it, because it's got a separated portion, or if it makes it even faster. Moving on. Drone delivery. It's an augment for the sentry, which is odd because it must be a typo, or you've got a different thing you can use. I think it's supposed to be sentinel. Will occasionally drop free grenades based on your current grenade mod while attacking enemies. That seems cool. I wonder how it would be determined. Salivation. Killing an enemy after... Sorry, I am very, 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 uh, no English. Anyway, salvation. Kill skill. After killing an enemy, Zane's weapons gain lifesteal for a few seconds. I like ye. Give me that. That seems very nice. Next augment, I guess, yeah. Bad dose. Sentinel occasionally shoots out a beam of radiation that weakens enemies and buffs Zane. That's pretty cool. For every weakens enemies, Zane's movement speed and fire rate are increased. <coughs> yes, sir. Very nice. Weakened enemies have decreased movement speed and attack speed. I like the attack speed for guns because it wouldn't make any sense on a gun, but I still like it. Anyway. Seeing red activates an action skill automatically. Activates. Activating an action skill automatically activates all Zane's kill skills. That seems really freaking good. Like, a lot. <laughs> I would definitely be using that. Static field. Sentinel emits a static field that sends shock beams in to nearby enemies. Draining their shields and replenishing Zanes. That seems cool, but I wonder if it has the problem that uh, the Mechromancer had with her robot. Where the robot would have to sit there and beam you that shield and crud and waste its time on its cooldown. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see the Doomsday Boomsday, which is an augment for the Sentinel that adds a rocket pod to its primary weapon. Which is, so that's on top of it, I guess. Doubling... Maybe tripling damage because it's a rocket launcher. Allowing it to shoot rockets as well as machine guns. <coughs> I freaking really like it. Violent Violence. A passive ability. It's a kill skill. After killing an enemy, Zane gains increased fire rate for a few seconds. That seems cool. Playing Dirty. Passive ability. Kill skill. After killing an enemy, Zane's next five shots... All have a chance to fire an additional projectile. I've never really cared for those, like, double shots. Those those don't really apply to me very well. I'm like, whatever. Unless it's a really slow weapon. Even if it is, it'll have a lot of recoil. Moving on. Almighty Ordinance. An augment. Hold down the action skill button or the grenade button while Sentinel is deployed to paint a target area. Sentinel fires a missile barrage in that area, and if the enemy is killed, the Almighty Ordnance Duration is reset. That seems pretty cool. You can call down an airstrike, but I kind of want to sit behind cover more when I'm letting this thing get them and stuff. It should have better AI than the Mechromancer's robot and uh, <coughs> Wilhelm's drones, because, you know, it's in the future after all. Anyway, 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 anyway. Moving on. We have Good Misfortune. Kill skill. Killing an enemy increases 
uh, Zane's action skill duration. This skill has diminished return, or diminishing returns, so it'll give you less every kill, but it still seems cool. So, for the last of the Hitman tree, the very bottom, hopefully very freaking good, because that's normally where it's at, Death Follows Close. All of Zane's kill skills gain increased effects and duration. I hope when it means increased, like, a decent while, because, like, it's not seeming too impressive. No, sir. Anyway, anyway, double agent. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the double agent pack allows you to spawn a digiclone of Zane. This clone stays in place, but distracts and fires at enemies. Pressing the action skill button or the grenade button while the clone is active causes Zane to... Zane and the clone to swap places. This seems freaking epic for uh, screwing enemies over. That just trick the crap out of them. They're heavy jukes, my dude. Heavy jukes. Mm, like even even the developers like it, cause uh, as you can see, they've invested the most in this tree. Anyway, moving on. I'm not gonna try to say that, but I'm I'm gonna say that it's a uh, survival knife or whatever they're called. First aid knife, uh, they're not combat knives, they're utility knives? Eh, whatever, I don't care. That thing. Whenever one or more of Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased gun damage for each active action skill. So, you can have more than one. This thing is awesome, I might have to learn how to say that. I think this is Preminutus? Munitions or something? I don't know. Zane and his Digi Clone gain increased magazine size. I like that. It's alright. Borrowed time. Zane gains increased action skill duration for every action skill. I don't understand how that works, but anyway, moving on. Binary system. Whenever Zane swaps places with his clone, a cryo nova is triggered around Zane and his clone. That seems pretty cool. Danny Brook. It's a passive ability. Kill skill. Whenever Zane kills an enemy, he and his digi-clone receive increased gun damage and gain health regeneration for a few seconds. Now, I have no idea if that means, like, that the digi-clone needs health regen, or if they have health or something, but whatever. Fractured frags, a passive ability. The Digiclone throws a copy of Zane's current grenade mod when it's first activated. If the Digiclone is killed, it drops a free grenade. Okay. It'd be great if he had some legendary grenades up in there. Kill skill killing an enemy while Digiclone is active gives a clone a chance to throw a grenade. So you don't want to leave that out there. That's helpful. Duct tape mod. That's... Uh, <laughs> just freaking look at that heart... That heart-shaped icon for that baby. That thing looks ready to go. If it can't get fixed by duct tape, it probably ain't getting fixed. I don't English. Anyway, moving on. It's a passive ability. The first shot fired from Zane's gun has a chance to also fire a grenade. The more grenades in his capacity, the higher the chance. That seems cool. I wonder if the grenades uh, like go with the bullets or something. I don't know. Anyway, to an augment. Whenever the clone takes damage, Zane's shields are restored by a portion of that damage. That seems really freaking cool. I think that's German, maybe? Schaden, or Schadenfreude. I, th I believe that's how you say that. I believe it's Schadenfreude. I took German class last year, and that seems like how they'd pronounce it. Generally. Alright, quick breather. Augment. Whenever Zane swaps places with his clone, his shield immediately begins recharging. That seems great, except I have no idea how long the duration is between, like, when you can switch. Or else you might switch, like, continuously all the time, and that sort of thing. Enemies are more likely to target a clone for a few seconds after it's summoned and after swapping places. Which one's real? That seems like a really freaking good perk. I'd be, I'd definitely use that one. I'd recommend it highly. Doppelganger, like the doppelganger from the pre-sequel. Anyway, it's an augment. Hold down the action skill button or the grenade button to end this action skill early. 
When Zane's action skill is ended, the clone explodes, dealing fire damage to all nearby enemies. The more action skill time remaining, the greater the damage. I don't understand why it's called doppel... Oh, wait, no, it's not doppelganger, it's doppelbanger, okay. That's a freaking great pun. Anyway, I wouldn't use that one personally, but, you know, you never know. I, I use zero in this shock ability, so, whatever. Pocket full of grenades. Passive ability, kill skill. After killing an enemy, Zane gains grenade regeneration for a few seconds. That seems good, except for it will probably only regenerate like one or two grenades. I don't know, though. Old you, as it opposed to the new you, press the action skill button or the grenade button during fight for life if Digiclone is active to destroy the clone and immediately gain a second win with full health. That? Oh, baby, that's a good one. That that right there, I'll give that a good uh, 9 out of 10, yeah? That's that's going to be real helpful for someone who likes to play solo as much as me. Supersonic Man. Ooh, we're going to go fast Sonic style. Whenever one or more of Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased movement speed with every action skill. Once again, I don't know how that's going to work, but whatever. That seems like it would. I like being fast, so, you know, I, I might still get it. Digital Distribution. An augment. If Zane takes damage... While his clone is active, a portion of that damage is shared to his clone instead. Gotta love that. Good stuff. So, yeah, I guess the clone does take damage. Like a ghost, a passive ability. Zane and his digi-clone gain a chance to ignore bullets. This chance is increased for every, every few seconds after activating an action skill of this effect. <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to have to see what the percentage is on that, but I really like it. It might be like uh, Axton's grit skill all over again if that has some good percentage going for it. That would be nice. Anyway. Boom. Enhance. Enhance. Zoom in. Zoom, zoom. Anyway. Passive ability for Zane. Whenever Zane summons his Digiclone, it consumes up to three grenades. For every grenade consumed, the Digiclone gains increased gun damage, max health, and fire rate and reload. I personally wouldn't use that unless we had a crap ton of grenades, but I don't think we're gonna since I mean he's a level five and it's just three grenades like the like usual. So I mean good for your digi something, but I'm personally not gonna use it. Trick of the light. Zane deals bonus shock damage to enemies that aren't targeting him. That's gonna be good for that one perk that uh, targets the digi one more often. Anyway, so now we're going to double barrel. I believe Mordecai had a skill like this, if it's what I think it is. The clone is equipped with a copy of Zane's current weapon when active. Swapping places with the clone causes Zane and his clone to gain increased gun damage. Never mind, that's way better. So, <laughs> all I gotta say about that is double agent equals damn. So yeah, we got Undercover, Hitman, and Double Agent, if you guys have a... Uh, I mean, I guess I could look into this. We got a grenade slot. Spawns a Digi-Clone of Zane and his... Or this clone stays in place, but distracts and fires. Alright. So that's going in the grenade slot for whatever reason. Well, I guess that maybe that replaces grenades? That's weird for skills, anyway. I would probably I'd take it though because I like to swap places. Digiclone mod one, Digiclone mod two. Suppose it's gonna be for your Digiclone, of course. We've got an action skill slot for I'm assuming the Sentinel or the Hitman, maybe. I don't know. And then we got the uh, uh then we got the mods for that. So anyway. If you all liked this video, Rooney, you can go to thumbs up, subscribe. I hope to see you in the next video. That would be great. We've got our class mods like the old one. Oh, artifacts are coming back. That's nice. Grenades and shields, like usual. It's going to have the overview over here. So four equipables and all that. Schnaz. It's going to show you what you're working up to. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is Zane. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, ladies and gentlemen!